Hi everyone, welcome back to Novel Nomad and welcome to my first day of Vlogmas. Um, this is going to be fun because I've never done Vlogmas before, I enjoy it every year, but of course I'm doing a more bookish version of it. So it's going to be like book reviews, uh, going to some of my favourite bookstores, different things like that. So I'm just going to take you along for all my bookish fun treats. Um, there is also my birthday, which is very bookish themed, birthday party, my birthday was in November, um, but my birthday party, which I will also tell you on, but due to the nature of the party, I'll be uploading that the day after. But I hope you enjoy, if you possibly have anything that you'd like to see in particular, I could see if I could do that video, like, you know, like, uh, pick a shelf or do a little fun tag game let me know if you have anything that you'd like me to do for vlogmas I do have a bit of a list going at the moment but I thought I'd start off with a really easy one and that is just to do a bit of a catch-up of what I'm reading now what I read in November just just gone was a gentleman's guide to getting lucky by Mackenzie Lee this is like a novella between book one and two of the Montague siblings book so obviously the first one is the Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue, and the second is The Lady's Guide to Petticoats and Piracy. This follows straight after the first book, where Monty, Percy and Felicity are in the Greek Isles, and fun ensues. So basically it's about, um, it's wonderfully hilarious, but at the same time heartfelt, and I just missed Monty's voice so much. He's such a hilarious character. I definitely recommend, if you liked the first book and you just want to get a little bit more Monty and Percy it is really beautiful so I, I definitely recommend this it's just come out in paperback in Australia so and I think it'll be released worldwide so hopefully you can get your hands on a copy next I wanted a wee bit of an appetizer or a taste of cloak and dagger Christmas reads and I picked up a murder most unladylike by Robin Stevens this was so much fun. Um, the narrator is it's a bit of a Sherlock Holmes and Watson style so the narrator is Hazel Wong and uh, she is in England she's in a boarding school and she and her good friend uh, Daisy are on the case of a murdered teacher but uh, it's Hazel who finds her body so it is quite remarkably fabulous and I'm re I really really enjoyed it I highly recommend it's I don't I think it's a bit older than middle grade maybe maybe up to like 15 you know before you get into like teens but it's so so much fun if you like anything like cozy mysteries such as her royal spiners Maisie Dobbs it's kind of in the vein of that but a lot younger and it just has such a hilarious character so going into what I would like to start reading as it is the 1st of December obviously I am starting the Cloak and Dagger Christmas readathon or mystery readathon for 2019 and I've picked two books for my challenge to get started with and the first one is The Unexpected Return of Josephine Fox by Claire Greenwich and then the other ones is Daphne du Maurier's Birds and other short stories but mainly birds I want to read. Um, these two are very high on my list I thought if I get them off straight away um, I can bask in how amazing they are and they won't dim the sparkle of Cloak and Dagger Readathon. Okay, so that is my plans for reading starting the month of December off wonderfully and what I just finished off in the end of November. So like I said at the beginning, if you have anything that you'd love me to do for this Vlogmas because it's going to be very exciting and I really, really hope I can hold up to the 24 days. I, I don't think I'm going to do Christmas. I think I'm going to take Christmas off. But hopefully I can hold up for the 24 days and let me know what you're planning to read starting into December. I'll see you next time. Bye.